We've got all these different things of the way that we think, we think things are going to play out in all of the chaos that's happening in the world. And you know where I want to be? I want to be right centered on Christ. I want to be centered in on what he wants me to do in the middle of this, in the middle of all of this. But you know where I want to be more than that? I want to make sure that my home is centered on that. And man, we've got we to be careful with our conversations and the things that we're carrying on and the things that we're talking through and talking about because it's really easy to have those conversations because deep down inside, what makes our, our lip quiver the most is what if the comfort of where we're at and the blessing of what America has been given through Jesus, amen? Through Jesus. What if that disappears? What if it changes drastically? Did you, I wanna let you in on a secret. The blessing of the Lord is not in the wealth of America. The blessing of the Lord is centering ourselves on whatever Christ wants to do, we wanna go with him. Wherever it is, that's where the blessing of the Lord is. Because if, if we're trying to manage it based upon comfort level and blessing and how much our world is affected, we're gonna be highly disappointed. Amen, church? We're gonna be highly disappointed. And I wanna make sure that you realize that there is this mirage out there that if we can get the right person in the right place and we can get the right conspiracies to come forward and everything, if somebody will just listen, then if we, we, we can really unify this whole thing. Do you not realize that we live in a fallen world? We live in a fallen world. That does not mean we abandon the idea that government can be healthy and that we can, there can be a real avenue of help there. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing to have a desire to have a healthy government, but things, the walls are down in America. They're down. It's just, it's just the bottom line. We're aborting babies. We're identifying people by non-binary, transgender. I mean, it, it's down, people. The secular world has knocked the walls down. And so we have a decision to make in our lives and who we are and what we're gonna rest in. Because the wall, I, I'm just letting you in on the info. The walls are down in America. It's not the same America that it used to be. It's not. And that's not to be defeating, that's not meant to be saddening, it is at the same time, I know those things, but it's meant to be a reality check to say, God never intended America to be the rescuer. He put all his hope and everything that he was, he put it on Jesus on the cross, amen? He put it all right there. And when he put it all right there, Jesus came to 12 disciples and he trained them and he raised them up and the whole world has been shifting out of that, not out of every country that rises to be great. The world is, is pinpointing on God's hand, amen? And you know where God wants to use the most? The bride, the church. That's where he's pinpointed on, okay? That's where he's at. And so I want you to be encouraged that the mirage of rest that the world is offering can't satisfy it. It can't satisfy it. And you're, you're going for a drink somewhere that you're not gonna get a drink. It's not gonna bring anything into your camp that you want. So make sure as you think about that word rest, as you move forward in your walk with God, what, where are you finding your rest? 